Good morning everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you with me to go visit some of my friends over at Elite Audio and Tint here in Elk Grove, California where they're going to be putting new tinting on my car as well as doing some repairs to the tinting on my wife's car. When we got her car a couple of the panels on the, the tinting was damaged and so um, they're going to be fixing that up for me today and um, I'm going to try to be able to show you some of the uh, audio stuff that they have there while we're there. They also do auto wraps too, so hopefully they have one or maybe some pictures that I can get from them so I can show you some of their work. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to break this into two different videos um, just because of the fact that it does take a long time uh, to do what they're going to do on mine as well as working on Jennifer's car. So this is going to be an all day deal for me, but um, uh, through the magic of uh, you know the internet and the video that we can do now on YouTube uh, we'll be able to speed that up for you I'm just going to give you the highlights of the things but I want to be able to be there to be able to show you everything so um, so anything that I see that's uh, you know that's boring of course I'll take out but we'll uh, we'll get you a good video for both of them so you can see what it's like to put brand new tinting in in a car that's never been done before as well as fix ones that already have so uh, sit back relax we're gonna we're gonna leave here and we're gonna head on over there so guys we made it here to elite audio and tent here in Elk Grove California and I'm just waiting my time to be able to pull my C7 into the shop they're gonna be uh, taking it around back here in a minute and pulling it into the shop so they can go ahead and do a complete tent job on the on the car um, so I'm really excited on how that's going to, I'm sure it's how it's going to turn out. Uh, I've seen some of his other work and I'm going to walk you, walk you around and while I'm waiting and show you a little bit of the uh, wrap that they're working on on one of the cars over here. And, uh, and then I think it's got tinting on it also so you'll be able to see what some of their work is. Uh, it's pretty darn good guys so I'm pretty excited to have how this is going to end up. I haven't ever had any tint on this C7 and uh, so I'm super excited about it. Now Jennifer's car, uh, it's going to come back later on and it's going to, they're going to go ahead and they're going to fix the tint that is already, I've got some on there that we, when we bought the car that it's damaged and so they're going to be able to get that straightened out. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on how they're going to about, go about doing that um, but um, I'm very excited about how they're doing it. So uh, sit back and relax and uh, we'll show you how it's done. So if he's got my car, he's taking it around back here. He's gonna go ahead and get it into the shop. Getting front row parking, guys. So, guys, we got the car in the shop, and they are jumping right on it. They're already uh, already wiping the glass down and getting things ready to go. Um, you can see right there. Um, so, uh, bouncing the window right now. What are you that's, doing that's to it? Bouncing it. You bring it back up. So this is what well, it just makes it so that we can shrink the back window without it sticking to the window. Oh, okay. So yeah, guys, uh, just uh, you know, take a look at it, see what he's doing. You'll see, uh, hopefully, there on the on the wall over here on the glass, that they're they're prepping the uh, the tint over there on that side. So um, it's uh, I, I'm getting excited. So guys, what you guys can see here is that they have the tint already there. They've already cut this with a uh, plotter. And so this way the, the blades never touch the car. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not as simple as just uh, taking some film and sticking it on the glass. No. Nope. You gotta it. Have to actually lay it down. So you get it all right to size out here, and then, mm -hmm. and then it shrinks down, and then you're able to apply it on the inside, huh? did not know that that's how it goes. You can see right here from the back side, what he's doing here on the side windows. So you can see there, after he got it shaped and dried to the right size, or shrunk to the right size, then they went ahead and they're going to go ahead and put it up here on the wall. That way they can get it prepped to be able to go ahead and put it on the car. Yeah, it's definitely come a long way. The last time I had my windows tinted, they were still using razor knives to be able to... So guys, one of the things that eased my mind right off the get-go when uh, when Ifty got into the car, a lot of times uh, people that are doing service to a car, one of the Corvettes, they don't know the car. They just don't. Um, but uh, I needed to be able to get into my trunk. He was already in the car getting ready to pull it out. And I, he said, hey, you need it in your trunk? I said, yeah. You know exactly where the buttons are. Um, his brother that's working in the, tr in the trunk right now, he knew exactly where those, uh, where the buttons are, how to get everything open, how to operate everything in the car. So they know the car. Um, so that eases your mind, at least it eases my mind, knowing full well that they know where stuff is at. Um, so that means that this isn't their first rodeo. So those of you guys that have a wind restrictor in the back of your car, you can see we've, we've just pulled it loose. We didn't have to unwire it or take it completely out of the car. We just had to um, pull it down, just unscrew it and set it off to the side. So not a big deal. Don't have any, don't panic. If you're thinking about having the tinting done, they can just move it right out of the way. Not a big deal. Now as he's cleaning that, I'm gonna walk over here and look at this, he's already, he's already snuck by and almost got it already tinted over here. I'm gonna have to, look at that guys. I mean, he's, he's fast. <laughs> no, no, the bottom, that's the bottom. Okay. You guys are making this look easy. I can tell this isn't the first Corvette you guys have done. We've done a few. <laughs> yeah, I know the side door's already done over there. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta have to follow this one really close because I didn't get any of the footage on the other one. <laughs> so they've got this one adjusted for this, the driver door, guys. We'll, uh, we'll make sure that we get that one on film here in a minute. And go back over here. So then you're just making sure that everything's off the glass, there's nothing there. Is that what you're doing, kind of, pretty much? Yep. Yeah. You always use a good blade. So you don't want to scratch the windows. I was 
just clean it one more time. This time I'm not using the scrubby pad. I'm just trying to get all the water off at okay. one time. All right. You want to pass it to the Yeah. 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 that guys Isn't that great now we're gonna sneak over here and we're gonna take a look here this wind restrictor bracket is uh, yeah uh, he's working around it. it makes it a little bit tougher that's for sure yeah. but um, <laughs> Just a little bit. we took the wind restrictor out so he doesn't have that, but the bracket is kind of in the way. So guys, if you haven't already tinted your glass and you're getting ready to do a wind restrictor, go get your tint done beforehand. It'll make make the install just a little bit easier. But um, these guys are making it look like it's uh, like child's play to put, put tinting on a car, that's for sure. If I'd be doing this, it would look terrible. There's no doubt. You wanna let that set for a second? Okay. While we're waiting for that, let's take a look at the back glass here, guys. Look at this. I mean, that just looks awesome. See that? They've got all the right tools. There's no marks, no nothing. You can't tell. That thing just looks great. There you go. I think we took more time on the quarter ones than on the rest of the car. I know, yeah. right? The littlest, <laughs> the littlest ones. And that's sometimes they are the are hardest like, ones. You know what? Why do those cost so much? <laughs> now you know because well, you can't get into them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hello. Get it in there. The guys, like I mentioned before, um, they never had to use a razor knife on this on this car. This pattern is in their system. They were able to use their their plotter, um, and uh, I'll try to get a picture of the plotter so you can see it. But um, they just print these little guys out, and then they they're able to put them in place. They have to, of course, prep them and all that type of stuff like you've seen. But um, sure makes it nice when you're not putting razor marks all over everything. But they did tell me that some cars that come in, they are not in the database, and so they do still have to use the art of cutting them. Um, so, you know, us Corvette owners, we're probably okay. But other people, um, is most of the newer cars, are they in the system now? Well, actually, you know, there's very rarely we would find cars that are not in there anymore. Okay. Um, probably like the older cars, anything like 
Speedboard 2000 sometimes. Okay, so like my 92 Corvette probably wouldn't be in no, there. Be there. Oh, that would be Fine. in there? Yeah. yeah because yeah. it's a Corvette? Well, they, go all the way, they go all the way to like the 70s. Um, oh, okay. They're, they're like very like uncommon cars. Like let's say the Buick Vieta uh -huh. might not be in there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, because it's a rare car. Right. So that might not be in there. We don't want to make him too nervous, guys. I mean, everybody's <laughs> staring at him, right? <laughs> and that's that's it. Okay. Time to clean it. Take these three M logos off right here. Boom, boom. So this is how you know you got the right film. A lot of people don't know, but this three M logo right here comes out with rubbing alcohol. Watch, I just actually. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Get the camera out of this gentleman's face here. <laughs> but you can see right here, guys, this way you can see, hopefully you can see that 3M emblem right there. Okay. And they just wipe it off. This way you know you're getting a genuine, genuine tinting. And it's not some cheap aftermarket stuff. There you go. Very cool. So they're just kind of sporadic, right? They're not... It's every every foot there actually oh okay every one foot that they do it all right very cool so take a look at this but man this really looks great so guys, here's one of the final touches here is that they put a sticker right over my window button so I'm not rolling this down. Okay guys, moment we've all been waiting for. Get to see what she looks like in the light. And look at that in the light, guys. That just changes the total look of the car. Man. Look at that. Wow. That really looks good. So guys, I just want to introduce you to the manager of Elite Auto Intent. Uh, his name is Ifty, and um, I'm pronouncing that right, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, and um, so what he did for us today is he actually put this tint on on our cars, and I tell you what, they look awesome. We should have done this a long time before now. Um, so you want to tell us a little bit about about your shop and what you offer? and go from there so they yeah they know what's what all right got. so well he already said it i mean our shop's name is elite audio intent uh we do car audio we do window tinting we do led lighting uh you name it we do it we uh marine audio as well um but for their cars we went ahead and went with the color stable 3m film uh nationwide lifetime warranty on it uh we went 20 percent all the way around on both cars uh, pretty good heat rejection on this uh it's about 51 percent total heat rejection and 68% that it blocks from the sun. Um, really good uh, material. So. Yeah, no, we were, we were super surprised with yeah. it. And then we were originally not going to, uh, if he had talked to us in the very beginning about doing the front windshields. And I, again, Jennifer and I both, we didn't think that we would want to do that. And then he sat us in a car that actually already has it done. And we thought it was going to be really restrictive not at all i mean we can see out really really well but yet it just makes the windshield this look great now uh, i tried to con him into doing them for us today he's like he was book solid so yeah. there was no way he was going to be able to do that he already got us we both tried. both cars we in tried. yeah and he tried but 
we're going to go ahead and schedule that here right after we get done with this video. So uh, when we come back, uh, we'll show you us getting that done uh, here at the shop, hopefully here in the next week or two. Yep. Yeah, so, um, but I have, I've seen a lot, of, a lot of different shops like this before. He's busy. So, uh, guys, he's also going to be, and I'll be posting this, uh, I've, I've, uh, I've asked him a couple different times to see if he could give us, uh, us Corvette uh, channel viewers a, a discount. Um, and whether you're, you know, if you want to come down to his shop here in Elk Grove, uh, great. And he will give us a discount. Yeah, I, I, yeah go to, ahead and uh, just mention their channel and we'll give you guys 15% off, um, you know, and I mean, that's awesome. I appreciate it, man. I really do. Yeah. Hey, you, you guys will be happy. Guarantee it. Mm -hmm.